don't know, I just real feel like just a simplicity. I don't know, I, I feel like the Lord's stripping away anything that we feel the need to work up or to prove or to do. And yeah, just let's just enter into his presence. So I just, I wanna open us up in prayer and then let's just jump into agreement with the Holy Spirit. So Father, we just thank you today. Lord, we put our, our minds and hearts on things above. Lord, and we just simply acknowledge you are above. And so we even pray, Holy Spirit, help lift our heads and lift our eyes to Jesus. That Jesus, that you would, we just, I just even pray that God would overwhelm us with simple prayers today, that he responds to prayer, he responds to faith, he responds to simple desire that even today, like we just say it from the very beginning, Jesus, we're here for you. We're here because we wanna know you more. We're here because we wanna make eye contact with you. God, we're not here just to do something, like, I just, we humbly say it, Lord, like if we wanted to do something else with our time, we would be doing it, Lord, but we're here for you. And I pray that in this just simple, fresh acknowledgement, God, that we would come like children with fresh faith saying, Father, we need you. Even our hearts would cry out afresh today, Abba, Father, Abba, Father. But Lord, we just say yes to your will. We say yes to your leadership today. Holy Spirit, lead us into depths and into places that we don't even know how to pray. Oh, I feel that. We don't know how to pray. We don't know how to pray as though we ought. Lord, we need to pray with a fresh depth and a longing for what we desire, and we're longing for you, Jesus. So we surrender and we say yes. We say yes in Jesus' name. Choose this day to be grateful, Lord. I give you praise with an open heart. I'm waking up to heaven. I'm waking up to you. I choose this day. I choose this day. To be grateful, Lord, I give you praise with an open heart. I'm waking up to heaven. Yeah, I'm waking up to you. I'm 
Thank you, God. Thank you, God. You're faithful, God. Yesterday, today, and forever, Lord.
the reality of our hearts that we can be very dishonest before the Lord uh, you know you sing something like this and my, my own default mechanism can be like oh, I'm not stumbling but I don't I don't even necessarily think what Jude is alluding to is just sin I think he's putting his finger on do you need the Lord's leadership 
need the Lord to lead you? Even when you're strong, do you need the Lord to go before you? Do you need the Lord to go behind you and around you and in between? And I just, I've felt a fear and trembling just in my own heart of how easy it is to hit default mode. And I just, I just sense God's love. It's what it says in, in Jude that we would keep ourselves in the love of God and that we would be sustained in the love of God. And I just feel like the Lord's wanting to open all of our eyes afresh today to receive new revelation of Jesus in his leadership and how, what that means, what is the implication of that? What is, you know, in the days and age to come, it's, I've just had this thought of like, Lord, I wanna be so sure in your leadership today so that the, in the day of trouble, it's not a question within myself who you are. And I just wanna pray this prayer that the Lord would reveal to our hearts in an honest way that we cannot keep our own selves from not stumbling. Uh, and as much as we want to, we can't, Lord. We, we can't. We can't, Lord. Regardless of how much scripture we think we know and how good we, we can get it, at a hiding, Lord, or, or whatever it may be, Lord, we need you today. Lord, we need the Lord's leadership. Lord, we need it in, in the mundane. We need it in, in our, our daily lives, Lord. I don't just feel that. Like, Lord, if you can't invade it now, Lord, I don't want to have a, a disappointed hope expecting you to invade it in the day of trouble, Lord. Like, I, I want you to fill every space today. And I just feel like there's a humble acknowledgement that's gonna give birth to this. Like God's not looking for our strength right now, he's looking for our honesty. He's looking for our hearts saying, do we really want God? Do we really need God? Do we really rely on the Holy Spirit? Do we really come? saying, Lord, wow, we need you. Like, I know that's simple, but like, wow, Lord, I need you. So Lord, I even just say today, I repent, Lord, where I've defaulted to my own strength. God, around the things that I've learned about you. Lord, I don't want to use the things of God to hide from God. God, strip us of our fig leaves. God, strip us of our, our strength and our cunning wisdom and our humanity that so easily thinks, oh, we got this, we got this. God, no, we don't, we need you. We need you, Jesus. You are the only one that can keep us from stumbling. You are the only one that can keep us from stumbling. So we just pray, open our eyes today. Jesus, open my eyes today to see you, to see you where you're seated. Lord, just like that prayer in Ephesians, Lord, that you would enlighten our eyes. Open the eyes of our heart, Lord, to see you and know you better, to know what is our glorious inheritance in the saints, which is in Christ Jesus. Lord, we don't know you as we should. We don't even know how to pray. Lord, we need an ongoing revelation of Jesus. I just feel like if that's you, I just feel like it's just an, an honest response. Like I think sometimes we just, we, we make it so hard. Like, I, I, like I've really felt this even in the room, like people, like you've been, even you've been, you're still figuring out like, how can I get through this? Like, I, and I'm not saying that you don't do this, but like, I, I just hear these thoughts, of like I gotta go on a 40 day fast. I need to, uh, 
uh, you know, like shift gear. And I feel like the Lord's saying, no, you just need to turn your heart. You just need to let him crack that thing wide open again. Knocking all the dust and the callousness and the religiosity and the pride and the selfish ambition and the, I got this God. I like, you know, and I just feel like he's turning our thumbs up toward heaven into open hands. And we can just, it's like, it's, oh, it's convicting Lord that we can never grow out of our need for you. God, we can never grow out of our need for you. God, where we fought it so hard, Lord, we're sorry, Lord. God, in the wrestle, Lord. God, we're not, we're tired of wrestling you to try to pin you to the ground to our own ways, our own methods, Lord. We, we just say, Lord, oh, Lord, we don't want our own leadership. We don't want our own wisdom. We don't want our own systems and our own methods and our own, our own religious strength, Lord. We, we don't want to be like the Pharisees, Lord, where we've been crying out and you're here. But we say, no, it can't be you, no, Lord. But we want to look you in the eye and say, it is you. You are everything. Your leadership is perfect, even when I don't understand it. Even when it offends my flesh, Lord, and it makes me say yes to trusting you lord i've seen time and time and time again if you can sustain me in my stumbling here i know that you're faithful in the days to come god but we need a fresh confronting reality do we really believe who jesus is who he says he is so lord we just say yes We say yes to fresh faith. We say yes to fresh believing. God, yes to repentance and tears. We need you, Jesus.
Lord, thank you that you sustain what you author. Hebrews 12 tells us to fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and sustainer of our faith. In the context of Jude, keeping us, where he says the Lord is able to keep us from stumbling, he talks about praying in the Holy Ghost, building yourself up in the most holy faith and keeping yourself in the love of God. And, uh, and it's an end time scenario. And the Bible says that uh, he who endures till the end will be saved in Matthew 24. And Lord, I just, I just see uh, Peter out of the boat, fixing his eyes on you, walking on water. And Lord, you called him upon those waters, but the one who called him upon the waters would sustain him upon those waters. And I just sense the waves and winds of circumstances and the Lord grabbing our attention today, saying, fix your eyes on me. I will, will sustain what I author. I will empower what I've promised. And, uh, and Lord, I wanna pray just for endurance for those in this room. Lord, that we can fix our eyes on the one who has called us because he is faithful to fulfill what he has spoken. I say that to the upper room, our community as a whole, but also to individuals across the room that he is able to keep you from stumbling. And that, Lord, you've authored the faith that we possess and you are committed to sustaining it. And Lord, we rely not on our own strength, but on yours. And we confess our weakness, Lord, and that your grace is sufficient in our weakness. Fix our eyes fresh and anew upon you, Lord. We receive grace this day. That he is more than able to keep you from stumbling. You looked at Peter and you said, oh, you of little faith, you picked him up. You didn't let him drown. But Lord, we want to we wanna remain locked. We want to remain, Lord, fixed upon the one who authored this journey, this story. And so if, if that's you, if you're, if you're in the midst of, of just a, a, a time of trial, of being sustained, endured, if this is hitting, can we just pray for you? Uh, would you stand to your feet? We just want to lay hands on you and just ask Jesus to give you uh, fresh faith to endure, to remain. It's through faith and patience that we inherit promises. And I feel like the Lord today is going to infuse you with the fruit of patience that comes by abiding in the vine. And that you would not give in to temptation of unbelief, that you would not give in to the temptation to stumble, but you would remain faithful in the mundane, that you would remain faithful in the everyday, that you would remain faithful. Though the Lord tarries, that you will remain faithful. Though the vision tarries, that you will remain faithful. Though that you're on the waters and the winds are blowing and the waves are coming, that you will lock your eyes on the author and perfecter and sustainer of your faith. He who has made a way will continue to make a way. He is the way. So in Jesus' name, I just pray fresh faith upon hearts, Lord, that you would author and sustain faith this day, that we would not fall into unbelief, but this day we would hear what the Spirit is speaking and saying, and that we would not harden our hearts, Lord, that faithful is he who has called us. Faithful and true is the one who is coming, and we look to you, the blessed hope of our faith. Lord Jesus, you're the bright and morning star. You are the one who was and is and is to come. You are defined by faithful and true. Faithful and true. Palm Sunday is coming. 
He who came is coming again. He who came on a donkey is coming on a white horse. And we look to you, Lord, the blessed hope of our faith, Lord Jesus. If someone's standing up around you, would just lay hands upon them and just say, faithful and true is the one who your faith is in. He who called you is faithful. Come on, fresh faith to endure. Fresh faith to remain. Fresh faith to abide. Fresh faith to believe. Don't harden your heart. 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 He will accomplish what he started in you. The faithful and true will look into you. It's not your faith, it's his. Beloved. 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 Building yourself up. 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 Remain in the love. Remain in the love. Remain in the love. Remain in love. Sustain. Come on, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. It's coming again. No to slumber. Awake. 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 In faith. Awake, sleeper. It's time to get up. It's time to get up. 
You know, in Luke 18, it's a parable about not losing heart. It's about sustaining in the hour of trial, in the hour of tribulation. It's an end time parable. It talks about a persistent widow coming before an unrighteous judge. And Jesus says, if look at what the unrighteous judge did, how he treated this widow, and he said, uh, how much more will the Lord answer the cry of the elect who are petitioning him for justice day and night? And it's in that context that he says, but when the Son of Man returns, will he find faith on the earth? And it's an enduring faith. It's an enduring faith in the midst of global trial, but specifically surrounding injustices. And so I want to enter into a time of intercession and go outside the walls, go outside this room, go outside of our lives. And I want us to pray for the justice of Jesus to touch the earth. And it could be amongst, you know, there's hundreds, thousands of injustices. But I'm going to invite our staff and elders first just to come and pray. We're going to pray into areas of injustice. And I want you to see this is a time for you to lay hold of the Lord's faith for issues on the earth. You're getting outside of yourself. You're saying, Lord, I'll receive your burden for this moment. I'll allow your faith to touch my heart for these issues. It can be orphans, it can be Israel and wars, it can be whatever, but I'm gonna invite our staff, specifically our staff. And if you're a staff member that doesn't wanna pray, then you should be the first to come up here to pray. But just come up and let's pray. Let's step into the gap and say, Jesus, we believe that you care. We believe that you're burdened for these issues. And let's just pray. And if you're out there listening to these prayers, join your faith to their prayer. Some of us, we just walk around. For me, I like to walk around in pace. But let's enter into the last 30 minutes of a, a time of intercession where our hearts are a touch point for the Lord to release faith on the earth through uh, prayer. In Jesus' name. So go ahead, Beth. Lord, I just want to invite your Holy Spirit into the midst of sex trafficking in our nation. I just pray for these kids, Lord, that have been taken from their parents. God, I just pray that you would bring a light, that you would bring exposure, that you would get prophetic words, that you would show people where these children are being housed, where they're being kept. And Father, I just pray that you would come to the root of this issue. I pray for the hearts of men and women to turn back towards you, that there would be a fear of God in our nation, Lord, that we would not settle uh, for the corrupt nature of what's happening with this. But God, I just ask that there would be breakthrough. I pray for those that are fighting. I pray for Yakubuyans. I pray for, um, for different ministries out there that are looking for these kids and taking action. God, would you bless them? Would you bring a protection over them right now in the name of Jesus? asking for justice in the place of uh, political leadership, elected officials, and just those who are in charge of, of the direction of our country. Lord, I thank you that justice and righteousness, they're the foundations of your throne. You're well acquainted with it, God. And Lord, I just ask that for those who um, take up office, Lord, we just ask for purity. I ask for purity, God, and in, in this season, God, this election season, Lord, we just ask that purity would mark um, j just elected officials. God, I ask for the division in our country, God, that you would step in. I ask for repentance in Washington, D.C. I ask for a change of heart, God. I ask for softened hearts, God, that you would do the supernatural, God, that America would return back to you. Lord, we're asking for a supernatural move of God. Thank you, Lord, that you know how to lead, God. You know how to lead. 
And so God, we're asking for your leadership. And Father God, we just, you're such a good dad. And we ask that you would sit on your throne of justice in the school systems of our nation, Lord. Lord, we ask that you would turn the hearts of the officials back to you, the hearts of the parents back to you, where they have just released their rights to the government to raise their children to decide who their children are. When you created them in the mother's womb, you decided what sex they were going to be. You decided who they were going to be. You decided what their identity was, Lord. And we just ask that you would sit on your throne and you would move on the hearts of parents and say nobody else gets to decide who my kid is but my Father in heaven. Jesus, I ask for revival in the schools. I ask for teachers with no compromise in their hearts, with no compromise in their heart, and they're not gonna say not on my watch, not on my watch, not on my watch, not on my watch. I ask for a holy seal to break forth in the schools, and we ask for revival. seconds guys let's just pray in the spirit let him fill you let him fill you with that hunger for his justice come on yes I want to pray for the injustices that have happened within the church. Any sexual abuse, any misconduct, anything at all that has happened within the four walls of his house. I just want to pray over it. Oh Jesus, you know your house better than any of us do. Oh Father, but I ask you that you would release justice all across the churches and houses of prayer represented in this nation. Oh God, I ask you Lord that you would come in Lord a fresh wind with fresh justice over eyes over leadership teams over pastoral teams over children's ministry whatever it is god come and purify your church again come and heal those injustices lord oh father we ask you for all those wounded for all those hurt by the church god oh lord you stand on their behalf god oh how can we ask for it in the nation before we see it in our own churches Come into our church. Come bring justice in our church. Come bring justice, God. From the highest to the lowest issues, whatever it is, Lord, let the church be an example of the justice of God breaking through the earth. In Jesus' name.
evidence for our nation of how we have not se- have we have not seen life as worthy of holding in the womb for the pro-abortion movement, Lord. Just repent on behalf of our nation of the bloodshed of beauty, the beauty of life. And Lord, I just ask for a revival when it comes to motherhood and that we would see motherhood as this amazing gift from God. Lord, open eyes, open eyes, open eyes, the sanctity of life, your image that you form cell by cell. And it's a gift, it's a miracle. And so Lord, I just pray justice in this area, justice, start in Dallas, justice in this area. Lord, Lord, mercy, mercy, mercy. May we see a wave of women that feel empowered when they're pregnant, <laughs> that feel empowered in giving birth, that feel empowered in raising a family. You love family. Lord, raise up people that want to adopt and foster. Lord, justice, 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 and come swiftly in Jesus' name. Hey, I want us to break up into groups, and I want to pray for a demographic that um, is really at the center of so much with our state and politics, and it's uh, the Latin American and Latino community. And uh, I feel there's such an impartation that the church in America needs from the Latino church. And I pray that the wall of hostility is torn down. And I I just sense a grace for our community to, to lead out in that. And I wanna pray for the Latin American church. I wanna pray for the Latin American church in America. And I want to pray for revival. I want to pray for unity. I want to pray for an outpouring of God's spirit. I want to pray that the American English speaking church can embrace the Spanish church, the Spanish church's leadership in this hour, that the wall of hostility would be torn down. And so can we just break up into groups for like two, three minutes. Let's just pray for this one new man to emerge, the Latin American church and the English speaking church that there would be a great uh, movement of unity and oneness, revival, power, harvest to fall in Jesus' name in the city of Dallas. And so can we step into that for just about two minutes? Just grab someone's hands and just pray for the Latin American church, for Latinos in Dallas, for the leadership of Latinos in Dallas, that there would be a purity to it, that there would be a, a real conviction that comes through the Latin American church hunger and passion, so go for it in Jesus' name. Come on, pray in faith. Pray for the Latin American church in Dallas, Texas. Pray for those in South Dallas. Pray for those in Oak Cliff. Pray for those in West Dallas. Pray for those in North Dallas. Pray for those in downtown. Pray for the young. Pray for prophets. Pray for evangelists. Pray for voices to emerge. Latin American leaders. Come on. Pour your fire out, God. That fire, Lord, in the Latin American church, may it touch America. Pray for the south wind to blow.
the Spirit. God, make us one in understanding. God, let us come to the table as one and leave as one and worship as one and pray as one. God, raise up. Espíritu Santo Espíritu Santo que tu fuego nos consuma Señor que tu fuego consuma tu iglesia Señor que tu fuego consuma tu iglesia Señor haznos uno contigo Padre haznos uno contigo recibimos Señor recibimos tu gracia recibimos tu amor recibimos tu misericordia te pedimos, Padre, Señor, que quites todo, todo lo que nos prohíbe, lo que nos previene, Señor, de ser uno, Señor. Reprendemos, Señor, la desunión. Padre, reprendemos, Señor, todo espíritu de división en tu iglesia, Padre. Y declaramos, Señor, que el mensaje se hace uno a través de tu espíritu. Padre, gracias, gracias, Señor. Porque somos llamados iglesia No somos llamados iglesia americana O iglesia hispana Señor Somos llamados tu iglesia Somos uno contigo Padre El poder de tu espíritu Señor Que el poder de tu espíritu Padre Nos mantenga unidos en esta hora Donde esta nación necesita unidad Señor donde la nación necesita que tu iglesia, Padre, que tu iglesia se llene de ti, Señor. Que seas tú, Jesús, el principal protagonista, Señor, de todo mensaje, de toda adoración, Padre, en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. Sí, Señor, muchas gracias, Padre, por lo que estás haciendo en Latinoamérica, Señor. Gracias, porque ese es solo el comienzo. Y lo que yo siento en mi corazón en este momento es orar por la generación que viene, Señor. Por la generación que nos va a enseñar después a nosotros, Padre Santo. Así que ponemos esta generación, Señor. Los hijos de nuestros hijos, Señor. Los que van a conocerte cara a cara, Padre Santo. Gracias, Señor, porque son amados. Esa es tu generación, tu creación, Señor. Así que en este momento, Señor, ponemos ante ti los niños de este país. De los países de Latinoamérica, Señor. Porque van a conocernos y nos van a guiar a nosotros Padre Santo Gracias por el amor que tú tienes para Latinoamérica Señor Gracias Padre Santo porque tú lo estás haciendo Y tú nos muestras y nos vamos a ver Tú dices que seamos como niños Padre Santo En este momento pedimos que tú unjas a los hispanos y a los latinos Señor Con una fragancia de niñez Señor Que podamos amarte y venir a ti a ti a tus Señor amándote y seando libres y danzándole al Señor como niño Señor gracias Padre Santo te amamos
Señor gracias por la iglesia hispana Por la iglesia hispana Por la iglesia latina Señor gracias por todos los que vienen de México Que, que emigraron aquí a los Estados Unidos y que, y que encuentran a Cristo como mi familia Señor rompe toda religión, toda idolatría en, en, en nuestras iglesias Señor Señor que no sea diferentes iglesias, diferentes religiones Señor Pero que todo sea por tu sangre y por tu espíritu, por tu cuerpo Señor que seamos una iglesia como estaba diciendo Tony Que sea una iglesia, una iglesia, una iglesia no americana No suramericana y norteamericana pero, pero una iglesia en el nombre de Cristo Declaramos que somos uno en el Espíritu Somos uno en el Espíritu Señor trae avivamiento, trae avivamiento a, a la iglesia Despiértanos de toda la religión, toda idolatría Señor Despiértanos, trae tu, trae tu fuego Señor Una alarma que suene de, de, de alabanza A todos los pueblos mexicanos, a todos los pueblos de Sudamérica A todas las ciudades de, de Estados Unidos Señor Despiértanos, despiértanos a, a, a saber que, que hoy es hoy, es hoy que nos estás despertando hoy Señor Señor te damos gracias por Por lo que estás haciendo en todos los corazones De los pastores Lord we just say yes We just say yes to union To union with the north and the south We just say yes to union The north wind and the south wind We say yes Lord we say yes to what you're doing in the church In the Latin church and the North American church, Lord, in Canada and in America, Lord, and in Mexico and in Colombia and Argentina and Brazil. Lord, we say yes to the union. We say yes to being one body in one spirit under one name. Thank you, Lord. church for the times when we have not received from the Latino community Lord we repent break our hearts and make us open Lord we repent for when we've said no because it was different than what we're used to or what we're comfy with we repent Lord And we say yes, Lord, we want unity, Lord, we want unity, we want oneness, we want one thing, Lord, one church, one global body, Lord, bring us together, Lord, every color, every language, every background, bring us together, Lord, I'm sorry, we're sorry. For where we have not received your people, Lord. Start with us, Lord. Start with the upper room. Start with this room. Start with us. Bring us low, Lord, and ready to receive. We thank you for the differences. We thank you for our differences. We thank you for the skin colors and the languages and the dialects and the family cultures. We thank you for the fact that we're different. Thank you, Lord. Bring us together, Lord. Bring us together, Lord. Every day. 
this before we go. I just feel like let's just put our hand on our hearts. I feel like I just kept getting this picture as we've been praying for the past hour of like the Lord breaking up like just that soil. Like he's just tilling the ground afresh. And I just feel like the Lord's comfort as we go is that this faith that is, you felt a resurgence, a resurgence of faith. And I feel like the Lord in his kindness as a father and as a leader saying, I'm going to keep watch over it. And I feel like there's just such a, a joy-filled faith and a hope today that like even to what we've been praying for, we will see the manifestation of it. Like I just, I feel radical, crazy hope and faith that even our prayers today, we would see with our very eyes the goodness of the Lord this present moment, in this land, in this city, but I just pray over us, Lord, as we go from here. Lord, I pray that, that even what the seed that you've put in our hearts of fresh faith, Lord, I pray that it would increase exponentially. Lord, I pray that you would, you would breathe, God, intend to this garden, which is the soil of our heart, Lord, the way that only you can. God, keep us in need. God, keep us in faith. Lord, we, we just declare it again, Lord, before we go, you are the only one that can keep us from stumbling. You are the only one that can keep us in faith. You are the object of our faith. You are the reward of faith. Lord, we just thank you today, Lord, for what you're doing in our midst. Again, we say, Lord, increase it. Increase God, our awareness of you afresh. We just give thanks. We honor you, Jesus. We honor your presence. We just all say amen in Jesus' name. Amen in Jesus' name. Thank you guys for attaching your faith and your time and praying with us again.